Happy Christmas, darling. Oh. Why the guilty look? Are you peeping? What do you mean, guilty? Oh, I look as I just caught you red-handed, pulling back the sticky tape. <laughs> Happy Christmas, darling. Mm. Mm. Coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, what a mess. Well, at least we don't have to get it spick until tomorrow, eh? No. Isn't that marvellous? Mm. Christmas lunch at your mother's. Mm. I must say, I quite warmed to the old dragon. <coughs> <laughs> the old darling. <laughs> Just you make a New Year resolution to keep warm. She has asked your parents, too. I know, I know, but we'll be doing lunch here tomorrow, won't we? Who will? We will. Well, I mean, you will. Mm. With a little help from your friend. Husband? Oh, yeah, sorry. Mm. <coughs> Our first Christmas together. Yeah, it seems odd after six years, doesn't it? the old Christmases. Did you? Well, of course I did. Having to split up on Christmas Eve. Yeah, that's right. You to your parents, me to mine. Missed you such a lot on Christmas mornings. A bit chilly around the extremities, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking physically. Well, I am, and Christmas mornings were bloody freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted it to be like today, with you wandering in saying, Happy Christmas, darling. Yeah, and you were trying to get your finger inside a present. <laughs> anyway, you were sad too at Christmas, Oliver. When I used to ring you from my parents before lunch and you said how much you were missing me. Yes, I know, darling, I know. In fact, whatever I get underneath that tree today, you'll still be the best present of all. Will I? Mm. And you don't even come gift wrap. <laughs> <laughs> now, I must have no complaints. No complaints at all. Well, I mean, I hope not. I haven't uh, seen my token present yet, have I? Token? Well, yes, we agreed on that, didn't we? Token presents between you and me. Yes. To take the sweat out of shopping. Uh, I wish we'd thought of it years ago. <laughs> you've, um, you've really only just bought me a token present, have you? What? Well, just something small, that's all you've got me. Oh, you haven't got me anything special, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're sure? Yeah. Because we did agree. Yeah. Good. Oh, shall we give them to each other now, or take everybody's down to your mother's? Oh, take them down to Mum's. Right. Oh, this is the life, eh? Mm. Your poor Mum slaving over a hot stove. Turkey spitting in her eye. Oh, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful, Oliver? Do you know, this time last Tuesday, we hadn't even begun to think about Christmas. No. We hadn't bought any of the food or the presents or anything. Now the worst is over. And the best is yet to come. Yes. Yes, sir. What do you mean, last Tuesday? Huh? <laughs> you said this time last Tuesday? We'd hardly bought a thing, yeah. Today's Monday. Is it? <laughs> oh, I can't keep track of the days this time of year. Well, I just hope you've kept track of the days with your mother. My mother? Well, if you were under the impression that Christmas Day was on a Tuesday, isn't that what you might have said to her? What? We'll come to you on the Tuesday. No, of course not. The Tuesday happening to be the Boxing Day. Oh, Oliver. In which case, she would obviously come to us on the Monday. Don't be silly. Christmas Day. Look! Which is today. Oh. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't say things like that, even in fun, Oliver. I was nice and relaxed. So was I, but I've just remembered you and your mother organised this whole Christmas and nervous tensions definitely beginning to set in. Look. Oliver, please, I said to my mother, we will come to you for lunch on Christmas Day and you come to us on Boxing Day. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. You didn't say, we'll come to you on the Tuesday. No, I did not. Because it's the easiest thing in the world to ring your mother and check. Oliver, I have just told you. All right. I'm absolutely positive. Right, good. Fine. We can relax again then, can't we? <laughs> mother. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, darling, to cause a ripple on our peaceful pond. But I just had this simply frightful mental picture of your parents and my parents arriving on the doorstep and our turkey sitting frozen solid in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the people sniffing the air and saying something smells good and rumbling tummies all round. <laughs> and everybody having to make do with a slice of corned beef and a Turkish delight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just giving Mum a tiny...
tiny tinkle. You mean... <laughs> You're not sure? Of course I'm sure. Just want to put your mind at rest. My mind? And all right, mine too. Anyway, it's all your fault for trotting out those ghastly stories about people sniffing the air and sitting around chewing Turkish delight. I'm absolutely sure that right at this moment, Mum is checking the turkey, Dad is finishing the vegetables. I bet she's telling him to go easy on the drink pouring where you're concerned as well. <laughs> I've absolutely no doubt. No doubt at all. That right at this moment they're both arguing about who should answer the phone and they're both saying they can't leave what they're doing. And they're both They're both sitting in their car and heading in this direction. <laughs> Lost a dial the wrong number. No, Sandy, you've just got the wrong date. I said see you Tuesday. And today's Monday. Well, I mean Monday. Now, will you please let me dial the right number this time? Right. Right. Thank you. Haven't you got anything else to do? No. Why? I haven't got a loaded revolver. <laughs> Sandy. Why aren't they answering? It takes time to answer a phone, Oliver. And they're not as young as they were. A senile tortoise could have done it by now. <laughs> right. Ring yours. What, to invite ourselves around for corned beef and Turkish delight with them? I made the arrangements. You have just said so. Right, ring your parents and find out what arrangements I've made with them. Go on. Ring and find out. And kindly remember, please, Oliver, precisely why all the arrangements were left to me. Because you have been to an office Christmas party every lunchtime since Guy Fawkes Day. <laughs> Talk about a lost weekend. You've lost most of December. <laughs> You're a national hero, do you know that? Single-handed, single-handed, you have kept the distilleries and the aspirin factories in business. <laughs> There's no reply. So what does that prove? No reply? What does it prove? Well, they, they don't live that far away from my parents. But all four of them live a fair distance from here, which means that all four of them are at this very moment on eight wheels. <laughs> We're in our dressing gowns, the turkey's in the fridge, and there's lunch for six in an hour. <laughs> I don't know unless we try roasting the Turkish delight. <laughs> We've got some patty. Oh, that's fine, as long as nobody asks for the person's nose. <laughs> and lots of vegetables. Six hours thawing, five hours cooking, that's nice. It'll be ready for a midnight feast. <laughs> oh, well, put it in the sink and run some water on it. Water? You can dent this with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> now then, what else have we got? Well, there's a box of table fireworks. Perhaps if I light them all at once, they won't notice there's no meat under their half pound of sprouts. <laughs> Meatballs, pilchards. And soya meat curry. Good, serve them all together. And we won't need wine, and just pour out milk of magnesia. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! Now then, don't waste your breath. Come over here and breathe on the turkey. <laughs> to think that I was looking forward to our first Christmas together. I'd give anything right now to be having a nice, quiet lunch with Mum and Dad. Oh, would you really? Yes, I would. You're cock-a-hoop, aren't you? Absolutely cock-a-hoop, because I've made a mistake. Prove to your mother and father what a silly little fool you've married. Well, it makes a change from your mother thinking what a burke you married. <laughs> right now, Oliver, I'm inclined to agree with her. Oh, thank you very much. And who made it open house on Christmas Day? Oh, yes, I can just see that being trotted out down the years. You can alternate that with your other catchphrase. Oh, uh, what's that? Wasn't life good before we got married? Sandra? Mum! Yes, dear? Where are you? What? At home. At home? And you're expecting us for lunch? Yes, dear, but... Uh... Oh, thanks, Mum. What? Hang on a minute, will you? She's at home and she's expecting us for lunch. Darling, I am so sorry. Mm. Well, it's all right. I'll never yell at you again. 
Not till New Year, anyway. No. <laughs> Sandra! Sandra! Oh. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, Mark. Look, I'll explain when I see you. Yes, well, I've got some explaining to do first. The most dreadful thing has happened. <laughs> We're looking after next door's Great Dane for Christmas. And during the night, he tore the turkey to pieces. <laughs> What's wrong? Kiss me again. So I'm afraid I shall have to ask if we can come and have lunch with you. Will that be all right? Well, Mum, you see... All the... we've got is some tins of corned beef. We can't ask Oliver's parents to share that. Well, you see... I'm from them, by the way. They've been to church. They were so understanding. So, we'll see you in an hour or so. What? Happy Christmas! <laughs> Anybody with a blow lamp? Here's the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Fill the week up the world. Fa la 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 la. Sing the ancient Christmas carol. Fa la 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 la. Well, Christmas spirit's still abroad. Didn't meet Scrooge once. What have you got? Ah. Some ham from Gerald and Sheila downstairs. A couple of chicken legs from Marion. A couple of wings from Tina. So we've got the whole chicken except for its bosom. <laughs> Some ravioli from Giles and Bryony. A pile of steak and kidney from Victoria. Beef burgers from Amanda and Nikki. But they did say perhaps we ought to sniff them first. <laughs> oh, yes, and everyone gave me a drink. Sorry. I don't care, darling. It's Christmas and we're going to have an absolutely marvellous day. Yes, I think we are. Marvellous. Well, everyone ought to remember the lunch. <laughs> Do you think we should patent it? Go on, put the turkey farmers out of business. Darling? Oh, sorry, darling. Christmas, I'll hang it up. <laughs> oh, good Lord. How the bed? Under control. Now then, sprouts, peas, carrots, leeks, roast potatoes in the oven. Well, that's enough for me. What's everyone else having? <laughs> Happy Christmas, darling. You go, I'll finish here. Right. Coming. Coming. Darling, I think we'd better keep lunch as a surprise. Right. And I'll pour them all Mickey Finns first. <laughs> hey, hey. Hmm? Coming! Mum! Oliver! <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible thing to happen to you. Oh, don't worry. I just think what a nice Christmas present that dog had. Come in, come in. <laughs> Happy Christmas, son. Happy Christmas, Dad. Come in. Uh, let's have you... your coat. Hope you and Sandy were able to manage at such short notice. Oh, don't worry, Mum. <laughs> Eat, drink and be merry. Oh. Remember? Uh, darling, my parents are here. Coming. Well, what do you have, Mum? Sherry? Thank you, dear. How could anybody leave an 18-pound bird in front of a Great Dane? Large, Sherry. <laughs> Christmas. Oh, I was just saying. Here, here, here's your Sherry, Mum. Oh, good heavens, dear. What a large one. You'll make me tipsy. <laughs> happy Christmas, Andy. Ah, mm. Happy Christmas, Dad. Come and sit down. Uh, a whiskey, Dad? Just a small one. A small one with plenty of water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's a bit potluck today with the turkey still frozen. Oh. Still frozen? What? <coughs> Won't you thawing it for tomorrow? Tiny scotch, Dan. Thank you. you. <laughs> thawing it? Oh, what do you have, darling? Uh, vermouth. Please. Everybody Thank knows you. you have to thaw a turkey at least 24 hours. Oh, say by the bell. <laughs> at least 24 hours. Cheers, dear. That's a very large whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, happy Christmas, Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, Oliver, it's very far from that. Oh, my darling, I am so sorry. And Mr. Bennett. Oh, I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm touring round trying to find another turkey. Run me right out of petrol. Well, we've all run out of petrol where a bird's concerned, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Mr. Miller was kind enough to give us a lift. Oh, thanks very much, Mr. Miller. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll give Mr. Miller a drink. If you're sure it's no trouble. Well, just a small one if you're driving. Close the door. Sherry, Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Miller was going to have a rather lonely Christmas, weren't you, Mr. Miller? Uh, I'm a bachelor. Oh, he's not so silly. What? <laughs> well, now, this is my daughter, Sandra. How do you do? How do you do? Mrs. Bennett? My son-in-law, Oliver. How do you do? And Oliver's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Pryde. How do you do? Uh, Mr. Bennett? Whiskey, please. Right. Oh, and we brought all our vegetables. Well, that was the least we could do. Oh, well, actually, uh, we got Sprouts, peas, carrots, leeks. They're all cooked. They just need heating up. And these are the uh, roast potatoes. <laughs> roast potatoes. <laughs> and how's the turkey coming on? We're not having turkey today. It's still frozen. Yeah, yeah. What'll you drink, Mr. Miller? Oh, uh, could I have a gin, please? Right. Sit down, Mrs. Bennett. Well, I mean, we were supposed to be coming here tomorrow. Why wasn't the turkey throwing today? How's your sherry, Mum? I don't quite understand what you're getting at, Mrs. Pride. Well, no wonder Oliver's looking a little peaky. I'm afraid your daughter has rather a limited knowledge of domestic science. I beg your pardon. Top her sherry up, Queen. Hello. <laughs> 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 A large bird needs to be totally thawed well before cooking, or there's a serious danger of salmonella. Do we have to discuss poultry disease before lunch? <laughs> Why don't we all open our presents? Oh, yes, good go. idea. Uh, could I have a gin? It's not another, you're driving. <laughs> Let my mum have her present first. I was going to. Right. Preferably from a great height. Right. <laughs> Here's yours. Oh. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bright. I do hope it's what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver dropped us a hint. Mm, oh, yes. Is. I know what this is. Oh, do you? Mm. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, has been spitting out square charcoal for ages. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Ah, oh, that's mm. it. <laughs> then you won't think much of our present, Sandra. Oh, don't be so silly, Mum. Of course I will. I just hope you haven't spent too much money, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Super wrapping, Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver told us. I told you and my parents several things. Why did you both pick the toaster? Real <laughs> minds think alike. Uh, uh, may I have a gin? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> We could do with two, couldn't we, darling? Don't be ridiculous. One of them will have to be exchanged. But well, we gave ours first. Father. <laughs> <laughs> I only hope, Sandra, that Oliver's own present to you was more thoughtfully organised. Well, actually, this year we're only giving each other token presents. Token? Yes, yeah, something small to save money. To save shopping. Uh, to save shopping. I think you were probably right the first time, dear. Listen, are you criticising my son? And who criticised my daughter? Present for you, Mrs. Bennett. Thank you. <laughs> no domestic science. I taught Sandra everything she knows about the kitchen. That might account for it. Present for you, yes, Thank you, dear. Everybody knows a turkey has to be thawed at least 24 hours. He doesn't give his wife a twink in prison. Just get one. Yourself. How's everyone's drink? A gin, please. Well, just a minute. Don't <laughs> get it personal. No, we're not, Mum. Whose son took six years to make an honest woman of my daughter? Now, oh, listen to me, Mrs. Bennett. I hear one more thing. I'm going to go start staring back. Who made an open house on Christmas Day? Every time I have to say, Mrs. Bennett. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mrs. Bennett. Well done in the charades. Loved your idea about great expectations. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, Mr. Miller, <laughs> just a small one, please. <laughs> Party's over, old chap. Come on, off you go. They're all downstairs. Uh, thank you for having me. Not at all. You were the life and soul of the party. Come on. <laughs> Bye. 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 I think you'd better drive, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> oh. It's over. I can't believe it. Nor can I. Oh, I'm sorry about my mother, darling. It's all right. I'm sorry about mine. She doesn't mean those things, you know. Doesn't she? Yes, she does. So does mine. <laughs> well, they only want the best for us, don't they? 
Why can't they see we've got it? Well, little things like our token presents didn't help. No, no, they were a bit, uh, a bit horrified at that, weren't they? Back at a miniature cigars from you, jar of cheap bar salts from me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink to our joint victory in the face of insuperable odds. Mm. You know, darling, in spite of everything, I think this has been one of my best Christmas days ever. Because we didn't buy each other proper presents. Well, I think I might have had a little bit to do with it. <laughs> I mean, we'd never have got through today if we'd been all fraught like the last six Christmases. Fraught? Yes, I used to go to spare looking for your present. I used to think, what can I get for the girl who's got everything, including me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get fraught when I was buying your presents. Oh, yes, you did, Diana, darling. You practically flung the parcel at me. And you said, well, I hope you like it. You didn't give me any idea at all of what you wanted. And I went absolutely frantic trips and around the shops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, at least you didn't have to change it. I nearly always had to change your present to me. That's just what I'm saying, darling. We're just rotten choosers, that's all. No, we're not. We are. You just admitted it. I used to give you your present and you'd say, did you keep the bill? <laughs> and I'd say, what bill? You'd say, for my present. And I'd say, why? You'd say, just in case I want to change it. <laughs> and away we go, hammer and tongs. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Nothing. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> what is it? Did I get you the wrong flavour bath salts? <laughs> <laughs> well, what then? I'm glad this has been your best Christmas ever because it's certainly been my worst. What? Well, why? I didn't think you'd stick to it, that's why. Stick to what? Only my token presents. I didn't think you meant it. But we agreed. I know we agreed. <laughs> I just thought to myself, well, he doesn't really mean it. And then when you gave me the bath salt, I was waiting for you to burst out laughing and give me a great big parcel of snake surprise. <laughs> Anything, did well, you? of course I did. Well, you shouldn't have. I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think you meant it. I was certain you'd say surprise, surprise. Darling, I'm terribly sorry. Look, I'll get you something tomorrow. Hmm? It's Boxing Day. Well, a day on. <laughs> something really special. Hmm? Darling? All right? Come and have your drink. Come on. Silly old thing. Don't move. Here we are. Well, I don't deserve it, so uh, don't suppose you'll give it to me now, will you? What? My present. I gave it away. Who to? Mr. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> the man who drank all my gin? Well, everybody was giving each other presents and he didn't get anything. Anyway, he did drive Mum and Dad over here. I paid handsomely in gin for his chauffeuring. <laughs> when I realised you meant it about the presents, I, I let him have yours. Well, that's the Christmas spirit, all right, isn't it? Giving my present away to a complete stranger. Well, I was disappointed that you hadn't said surprise, surprise. All right, I hadn't said surprise, surprise. What was it? What? This present of mine that you gave away so generously to a stray drunkard, what was it? A wallet. A new wallet? In pigskin. Don't. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm sorry. Oh, I was so disappointed. So am I, bitterly. You've ruined my Christmas. A new wallet. In pigskin. Don't make it worse. <laughs> I am sure it has made that little man's Christmas. Did it? I'm sure it did. Poor little man. Nowhere to go. Poor little fellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tis the season of goodwill. Yes, it is. And to show that I'm just as aware of it as you are.
hate you, Oliver. <laughs> what? All this time, you have been lying. Oh, not lying, darling. <laughs> you have made me give away a perfectly beautiful present to that awful little man. Oh, you said it made his Christmas. <laughs> well, it's ruined mine, absolutely ruined it. Oh, come on now, darling. Just you open no, it. No, I don't want it. Darling? No. You really don't want it? No. Right. Where are you going? To give your present away. Oh, do! To the first poor little woman who passes. Oh, Oliver! Oh, you gave my wallet away. Well, I'm buying you another one. Oh, I'll buy you another bag, then. A bag? Yes. In real leather. Oh, Oliver! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, darling. <laughs> now what's the matter? I haven't given you any. Oh, don't be silly, darling. That's my fault, isn't it? Serves me right for playing a game. Now open it. If you like it. Do you like it? Yes. Honestly? Yes. Across the earth. Oh, thank you, darling. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Yes, I know. Shoulder back. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Did you keep the bill? <laughs> Why are you talking about the bill? <laughs> well, um, there is this other shoulder bag. <clears throat> it's just the teeniest bit more expensive than this one, but it does have a whole extra compartment. Oh, Sandy. Oh, I'm not twisting your arm, darling. I mean, this one's very nearly as nice as the other one. Listen, I don't know how you can criticise when you didn't give me anything at all. And whose fault was that? Not mine. You wouldn't find me holding a January sale of wallets in December. Oliver! Hello. Oh, it's a call box. Sandra? Mum? Oh, do you know, dear, we had such a lovely time today that I entirely forgot to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, you've got the turkey and all the vegetables. I would ask Father to turn round and drive back, but I think we ought to get Mr Miller home. After all, it is his car. So I thought we'll come to you early and we'll do all the washing up. Just as long as you remember to cook the turkey and heat up the vegetables. I'm sorry, but I mean, it is Christmas, isn't it? Oh, yes, Mum, it's certainly Christmas. I knew you'd agree. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, then. Thanks again for today. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bag is absolutely gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted. You're such a clever chooser. What did your mother say? <laughs> Why don't we get back to our drinks? Hmm? What did she say, Sandy? My goodness me, yours certainly needs a tot up, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, sit down there next to me, darling. That's right. And then we can talk about what a super day we've had today and how silly we were worry about it. <laughs> and you know the best thing of all? No. Don't have to wait a whole year to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs>